Whoa, hey, it's kind of a busy day here at the gym. I've got 20 players, but no one showed up with jerseys. The game's about to begin, and I don't even know how many teams we're supposed to have. There's five players on a team, right? So how many teams are there? And did any of you shower? We have 20 players in the gym, and I know there's five players on each basketball team. So that's 20 divided by 5. What does 20 divided by 5 equal? 20 divided by 5 equals 4. We'll have four teams. Ew. And 20 showers. So four teams. Let's look at that visually. Here's an array of our 20 total players. Since there's teams of five, I'll arrange them in five columns. Remember, columns go up and down. So there's five columns and it gives us four rows. These four rows show us the four teams of five players in each. Now let's take a look at the stands. Fifteen total people came to watch the games and there are three rows of stands. That's 15 divided by 3 equals 5. This 5 here is the quotient. Quotient means the answer in a division sentence. Now I want to arrange these spectators in a way where the quotient represents the size of the groups. Which of these number sentences is correct? The quotient or answer is 5, so I'm looking for groups of 5, and we have 3 rows. So this was the total 15 divided into three groups, and that gave us five in each group as our answer. But what would this look like as a multiplication sentence? We have three groups of five, so three times five equals our total 15. Now, what do you notice about our quotient here? It's one of the factors in our multiplication problem. Now look at this array. The total number is 12, and we've split them into four groups. Which division and multiplication sentences represent this array? So now we're seeing how multiplication and division work together. Division starts with the total, then breaks the total into groups. Multiplication starts with the number of groups and the size of the groups and then brings us back to the total. They work with the same elements but in reverse. So the quotient from division is one of the factors in multiplication. Now let's take a look at this. Blank times 3 equals 24. We have an unfinished multiplication sentence. We're missing one of the factors, but we know that division helps us find one of the factors. So how can we rewrite this incomplete multiplication sentence to help us find the missing factor? Well, division starts with the total, so let's put that first. Then we know one of the factors, so we'll divide by that. And now our unknown becomes the quotient. 24 divided by 3 equals blank. 24 divided by 3 equals 8. And that means 8 belongs in the original multiplication sentence. 8 times 3 equals 24. That checks out. Now look at this one. 2 times blank equals 18. Which number sentence would help us find the missing number? To find the division sentence, we start with the total. Divide the total by the known factor and then solve for the quotient. 18 divided by 2 equals 9. Okay, well this game is starting now. Take a look at this problem on your own. Great job! 